In this material, I will show you how I created this AI system that creates for me viral story videos for my social media. And here we'll be using GBT40 image generation model to generate images, and runway for generating videos, and even 11 labs for generating audio. And everything will be combined together. And the best part is, in this video, I will have for you this free template to download, so you can import it inside an Aiden and right away create viral videos. Nevertheless, before, I will show you the sample video I created, so you know what we can create with this entire project. In a Tokyo alley at twilight, vibrant lanterns flicker against softly falling cherry blossom petals. Rain-soaked pavement glistens, reflecting a kaleidoscope of neon lights. A couple stands close together, their warm... So as you can see, the videos are pretty cool, all right? And here inside our 100% free community, and we've got the classroom, and inside the classroom we've got AI Story Creator, and there we'll be using all of the data here, um, you know, um, for this entire project. You've got the prompts, even you've got the template to download and import right away inside an Aiden. So go over to this community, link will be in the description of this video, it's 100% free, and we've got here 400 members, we've got different classes, so for example, you've got Mid Journey mini course, Image Generation with ChatGBT mini course, Sora mini course, even other tutorials such as Building Passive Income YouTube channel, um, it's 100% free again, um, so feel free to check it out. And now, let me guide you step by step how I built this entire automation. So first things first, we've got our trigger, which is new chat message. So simply here, we open the chat and we provide some data, um, you know, for the entire project. Then we've got actually our, our OpenAI step. So here we would like to generate the prompts. And inside we've got the resource, which is text, operation, message, a model. Here we've got the prompt that you can go over and copy from our community. So we've got the entire prompt. There's the task. You're a highly skilled AI designer to transform a short team emotion um, or story concept into a visually stunning high quality anime style cinematic scene. There you've got all of the description. So in general, you can go over here and read it. You've got some sample outputs. Um, here, the code for the JSON and a lot of more, right? So there, just go over there, copy that and open it and I then and paste it here inside the model. You just click simplified output and output content as JSON. Nevertheless, before we move further, let me go over and provide some um, sample data here. So for an example, I can open the chat and provide something like, um, let's say crowded city um, at sunset, um, people moving around, um, it's, let's say, it's summer, there are lots of greenery, let's run it, and now the entire automation is running, so here it's generating for us prompts, there it's generating for us images by using GPT-40 image generation, then it moves forward to runway, it waits for 90 seconds, um, to get the video, because we need to give the time um, actually to video to being generated. Then we take the content and we generate for that the audio. We upload that inside Google Drive, and at the end we save the content inside um, Google Sheets. Um, what we can do now, uh, we can go over here to generate prompts. And now I will show you um, what's inside. So here we've got a task. There is simplify output, output content as JSON. We are using GBT40 mini, and there you can see we've got the prompt at the right, um, yeah, at the right side of the page. So there we are using that in the further steps to generate the image. So here we've got the method which is post. We've got the URL, um, and um, there are all of the options. In general, inside our community, you've got everything explained. So here po a method which is post. You need to just copy this URL and paste it here inside. For the authentication, actually you send the headers, um, you specify the name, which is authorization, and actually you take bearer um, here, actually the sentence, and you provide your API key. So overall, when it comes to your API key for ChatGPT image generation, um, let me show you how to do this. You simply go ahead to your API profile, you click on API keys, and there at the right top corner you've got create new secret key. You just create that and you name it, um, as I did here, generate images. You can copy that and in general, um, there, um, let's go over here. Afterwards, um, yeah, you just paste it after bearer, um, so there, this entire API key. Also, we've got everything, everything explained right here, so um, you can just copy that. 
And additionally, inside API key documentation of OpenAI, you can, for example, go over there um, to image API, and also we've got everything explained. So for example, post method, uh, which URL to use, there, um, yeah, some data about the dimension, there the response to use um, in general there, and um, you've got also the header. So everything explained. Nevertheless, I did it for you so you can find here everything, how to set it up step by step. So let's go further. Um, here what we have, we send the body. Uh, we name it as the model and we use the model, like we provide the value GBT image one. Then uh, we choose the prompt and we provide the value from here. So from generate prompt and um, note. Um, then we pick the size. So even here, when you go over there, you can see you've got different sizes you can use. And there, this is a specific size, so the portrait, yeah? Um, you can change it as you wish, and that's your choice. Nevertheless, you know, I'm showing you that. So it's easier, maybe if you are in the future, if you occur some situation. After we do this, we've got our image generated. Um, here with the ChatGBT image generation model. So we can um, go further. Uh, we're going to go over to here um, to the step and the part for generating videos. And we are using Runway. Firstly, all right, we created um, here the prompt. We created the image and then we create the video. Inside what you have, let's click here. Um, you've got method, which is post. You just simply go over to the community um, and there you just copy the URL. You enable the body and you specify the body and you just copy this entire code. So as you can see, let's go over here. Um, also, we've got the authentication with the runway. Uh, so actually, let me show you now that. Nevertheless, um, you can see here, you've got the entire content paste. However, now let me show you how you can, uh, yeah, how we can go over and create a credential with the runway. So you click here on generate credential type. Um, you go over with the custom authentication and there um, simply you create new credential. After you do this, you need to paste the specific code um, inside this specific field. Next, you copy and paste the URL you have inside the community, and then you've got the authentication. So here, just choose the generic credential type, custom authentication, and there you need to connect your credentials. Inside our community, you have the tutorial how to do this. Um, so we can just go over here if you have some problems and yeah, just look how it should be done. After you connect your um, NIDEN with Runway, you click on send body and here you've got JSON using JSON and there you've got the entire prompt. Right there, I've got here an error because probably we have, um, let's go over there and provide a small, a small letter for the prompt because there I've got the prompt with small letter. That's correct. Afterwards, I've got uh, my video created. So I waited for 90 seconds and there I get the video. So we can go over here, take this URL and see what we have inside. So let's see, we've got two people that are smiling, that are laughing in the crowded city, it's cool. And we have this video. Yeah, crowded city, it's so, so nice, all right? Um, However, after this step, so generating the video, we wait 90 seconds, we get the video. Let me show you what we have inside. So here we've got the method, which is get URL right there. Um, and in general, also you've got here um, explanations. So there method get URL header. Uh, you need to provide, actually, let me show you. You need to provide the header and provide the name X runway version. So here you pick the version and you specify the value um, of that, yeah? So we've got the specific date. And that's pretty it. Um, it's really enough. Afterwards, you click on test the step, you get the output, so the link, and you can go further. Um, so for now, we've got three different parts. So generate prompt, generate image with GBT40 image generation, and create a um, video inside Runway. Now it's the time to generate audio. So right there, uh, we can generate the audio. And let me show you what we have inside. We've got the method, which is post, URL. Um, yeah, as usual, you can copy that from our community. Um, authentication, so again, we've got generic credential type um, here. However, here we've got header authentication, 11 labs. Um, you send the headers, and there it's very important. You choose the name, which is content type, value application JSON. Everything is, is, is inside the documentation of 11 labs. So you can go over there or even go over to our community. Um, you can find it there. Um, you need to send the body. So here what you have, um, JSON, using JSON. 
and there you've got actually um, this sentence. So we get rid of the um, potential quotation marks actually to clean the content, you know? So we he here we have generate prompt. We just connect um, yeah, this entire output. So here um, the prompt. However, you can just copy and paste that um, as you wish. Afterwards, you get the audio. We can, um, let's view it. In a bustling city at sunset, yeah. golden rays spill through sky. It's so, so nice. So it's our entire audio for the entire scene. Let's go back to Canvas. After, after you generate the audio, let's see if we covered everything. Yeah, everything is here. Um, after we do this, we go over and we upload this audio to Google Drive. So there you just um, yeah, cho choose your account. There you only provide the file name, um, the drive, and there the folder. So upload sound runway. It's uploaded here. And now, actually, let me see. We can um, just copy this link. So web view link. Um, and there just paste it. So preview if you have our audio. Yes, for sure. Let's wait. Let's run it. In a bustling city. Nice. It nice. And we want to do this because afterwards, um, at the end, we just upload the entire content here inside Google Sheets. So let me actually show you. We've got our Google Sheets. Um, we've got our Google Sheets. And there, um, where do we have that? Uh, probably Puff, um, no, Story Videos Generator. Um, and here, what we have, we've got our video and there the audio. And this is the entire automation. And now there is a very important part. We are not connecting everything together. So here the video with audio, like let's say we've got three different clips of the video. Um, and we just take the audio and we connect that. We need to do it manually. However, there is the secret sauce. Actually, um, creating the automation to handle this, this, this thing will take a lot of more time. I can say um, even it will take even more credits, money and so on, and the quality will be just worse. Instead, what you can do, actually, let me show you what I did in my circumstance. So I opened just the editing tool. You don't need to have like, you know, you don't need to have very sophisticated skills to do this stuff. You just need to like, yeah, take the clip and put the music and that's it, all right? Even you can generate some captions. It's so, so basic. I even use the free application on internet to generate for me um, here the captions. So actually, let me show you. So overall, I use DaVinci Resolve to combine everything together. So here I've got the audio and two clips. Again, softly also, we've got a transition, petals. as you can see Rain right there. Nice. And now even you can ask, all right, but where are the captions are, and where is the second clip, actually clip of this um, and their project? And now let me explain you. In general, what you can do, and um, it's very nice. You can go over to ChatGBT and ask to create for you three scenes that are very similar to each other. And then what you do, first things first, if you have this entire project, you run, uh, like you, you, you put the first scene right here. So crowded city at sunset, people moving around summer, there are a lot of greenery. It creates for you the audio. Afterwards, what you do for the second actually um, run, you disable generate audio and here Google Drive, because already you have the audio for, for, for the entire video. So then what it does, it creates for you only the video and it puts it inside Google Sheets. And by this way, with the second run, you've got only the video and you can run it for the third time and you've got suddenly three clips and one audio. Then you go over ahead to DaVinci Resolve, you combine it together and at the end, you can either add here the captions. Nevertheless, I wanted to make them more, um, more let's say, um, pleasant to watch and um, just better. So I went to the application, which is Capwing, and there I just created the captions like this. Yo, Ali at Twilight, so, vibrant yeah. land. So this is a simple process. Again, let me actually show you because I created on this um, inside our community. We've got other, uh, we've got other tutorial on how to create POF um, video creator. And there, for an example, let me show you. Um, we've got um, actually um, there, we've got the entire automation that combines everything. So we've got here sound combined, video, and there even the prompts, actually titles. 
and then we just use the application um, to combine everything together. Nevertheless, I can say it's really expensive because you use other tool, it combines actually the video, like different clips, audio and so on. So it takes a lot of credits. And sometimes, and actually also this automation is much more sophisticated. So sometimes it's better to, you know, instead of just um, setting that everything up, um, go over, just only set um, these um, steps to create the audio, video, and um, yeah, image separately, and then just combine everything together. It takes approximately, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds to combine everything together in some editing platform, and that's it. You don't need to spend a lot of credits. You can even make it better, so better transitions, better captions, and a lot of more. So this is the entire concept I wanted to show you today. For me, it's really powerful. I really love it because um, everything is automatical just um, despite um, the process of combining everything. Nevertheless, again, it's so, so powerful. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, you can join our free community. We've got plus 400 users. You've got um, a lot of templates. We talk about AI and yeah, uh, we'll have more tutorials in the future. For now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I will see you in the next material.